this is my last Dr. Chill. I won't be buying any more, so it really is. Mm. I didn't pay for this one either, though, so. That really is a quite an adequate imitation uh, skipper, which itself is more an imitation Mr. Pibb than an imitation Dr. Pepper. Ah, uh, yes. So I just listened to Elvin Bishop's Fooled Around and Fell in Love. Why? Because my coworker, I am me to let me know that he had Paul Davis's 65 love affair stuck in his head all day. I have no idea why. He's much younger than me and should probably have never even heard that song. But when I pulled it up on YouTube, it said, if you like this song, you may also like this song. And that's how we got to the Alvin Bishop. And now I'm learning that Alvin Bishop didn't even sing it. It was Mickey Thomas, the guy who killed the Jefferson Starship. I may be remembering my Starship history incorrectly. But enough about that. Ah. Cheers, by the way. It's Tuesday, 6.14 p.m. and 80 degrees. And I've spent the last couple of hours agonizing over whether I'm going to go see Howard Jones at the Varsity Theater or not. I love Howard Jones. I was... Do you like this shirt, by the way? You know, I did all the... Howard Jones at uh, Starioki. I was Mr. Howard Jones because I was the only guy who would do the Howard Jones uh, except our lovely hostess Arzu who always enjoyed it when I did uh, Howard Jones, especially one that uh, she liked, which was like to get to know you well because it was in Better Off Dead, blah, 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 blah. Child of the 80s. We're all child children of the 80s. So I knew this concert was happening months ago when it was first announced and then completely forgot about it until today somebody brought up and said, hey, who's going? I was like, Oh, is that tonight? Wow. And then I procrastinated just long enough to make sure that I could not get tickets online. So I believe that just means it's too close to the show to get them and they're still selling them at the door. But they may be sold out. I don't know. If they were sold out, it would be an easier choice. I wouldn't go. So I don't know. The other thing is I'm, I was waiting on Kim to see if she wanted to go, and she hasn't looked at her phone. And I thought she was off by now, but hasn't gotten back to me so I don't even know whether to buy one ticket or two go on my own that's no fun I, I mean I could show starts at 8 he's gonna do his first two albums apparently he's gonna do his entire first two albums which would be really cool because there's some deep stuff on there deep cuts man stuff that like nobody can remember but hearing like welcome to conditioning when are you gonna hear that not, not for 30 years, you're not. I don't know. Show uh, starts at 8. So it's one album at 8, one album at 9.30, which means probably out by 11. So it's not like it's a late night. It is a Tuesday concert. He's got to get his uh, butt over to, I think the next show is Austin and Thursday. My alternate plan was to drive down to Austin and go to the Thursday show. But I believe that one's going to be taped for Austin City Limits. I don't know how much of it they will air, but it'd be cool if they aired the entire show. It also let me procrastinate on seeing the show tonight, but I guess I'll go. Now the question is, will I walk? Because it's only about a mile and a half from the house, or drive. And if it's 80 degrees, mm, that's the cusp of comfortableness while you're walking. But I walk briskly, so it may be hot. Also, I'm a big fat guy, and walking that much... Sounds like a bad idea. Actually, it's probably very good for me, but... <sighs> That's your insight into my mind for the past hour or so. It'd be easier if I knew I was going to meet Kim there. It's actually very close to her work, too. It's like perfectly between her and I. What a great place for a theater. But, you know, it may also be overrun with hipsters. But what fun is that? Hey, I didn't update the uh, number back there, did I? Can I talk to you while I do that? Oh, there's the wall. Let's see, we're going to need one more. Yeah, we'll do this one over here. We'll go back to BA. Put this one over here. How's that look? That looks pretty good. This is not straight. Okay. Sorry about that. Hopefully it'll be say 115. If I go 10 minutes, my midpoint 
actually, wow, my midpoint might be me pointing at it, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, so the stuff I didn't talk about yesterday, which I meant to, which I will get to now because I will forget again by tomorrow, it will be totally not worth it. Hey, I saw this new show. It's not new. It's episode seven or eight, but I didn't notice until now because one, all the stuff I usually watch wasn't in reruns until last Sunday, and two, I'm a white guy. Because it's on TV One, a black network. I can say that because everyone on the show is black. There's not a single white person, even in the audience. So why am I watching it? Well, because it's entertaining. But it's called My Mama Throws Down. It's a cooking show where people bring in their mamas, and then they cook against each other. And I caught it, actually I caught the rerun of last week's show, where the dish was pork chops and collard greens. That's good stuff. Except one mama burned her collard greens. I didn't even know that was possible, that you could burn greens, but she was trying to saute them or something, and they ended up in the pan too long, and they got crispy. But she still won. Did she win? I can't remember. The new show was... What was the dish there? It was shrimp scampi and pasta which seemed a little European to me, to catch my drift, but still interesting take on it. One woman had a strong Jamaican influence and put some ingredients in there that I just thought were really weird, but apparently they tasted good. Actually, you know, everything tastes good when you cook it in a TV kitchen, right? But it was a good show, and if you like cooking shows, and you like learning more about people who aren't white, Diversify your mind, man. Take take some culture in. Some culture that ain't yours. Learn about it. TV One. So TV One on Sundays, I think they're doing a marathon of reruns leading up to the weekly news show. And because there's nothing else on, well, you can try to watch 60 Minutes, but I just didn't feel it for some reason. But TV One, they do broadcast in HD, although maybe not in your city, but they did in mine. My Mama Throws Down. Hashtag MMTD to really entertain yourself. As we've uh, noticed in the past, black Twitter is different from white Twitter. White people tweet like this. No, I won't make that joke. I can make it on Twitter, but I probably can't make it in real life because it'll just sound racist. So racist. All right. Let's see if I had any... Greg left me something. Actually, Greg left me a lot of stuff. Which probably means I shouldn't get to it today because it'll take more than the two minutes I have left. Here's my Sesame Oat Brand Sticks. So much fiber, I guess. I ate the whole package again. In my defense, I didn't eat anything else today and I'm starving right now, in fact. Kim says she'd like to go, but redacted. Well, I think that means I can talk her into it, so maybe we will go. I've really been waiting on her message the whole time. I better get back to her. Maybe I should let you go. Uh, let me do a quick look here, and then I'll say, yeah, that's it. We're out here. What happened to my YouTube page? Do you ever go see me on the YouTube? Or do you just watch me embedded in all these places where I embed stuff? I suspect you do. Excuse me. Mmm, <clears throat> it tastes like oat brand sesame sticks. And Dr. Chill. <sighs> yeah, nothing. Okay, so uh, let's regroup tomorrow where it will be a uh, hump day and you can predict what I will say in the first 10 seconds. You can actually probably predict what I'm going to say in the first 10 seconds of almost every video, except when I do some filibustering like I did today, depending on what music I've been listening to. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching. I, I honestly don't mean to go right up to the 10-minute mark. It just kind of happens, and so we've done it again. Thank you for watching. Uh, feedback is welcome. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll pick up where I left off yesterday and uh, try to do better. Bye.